Hi, this is Dan for Tech Digest and Shiny Shiny, and I'm here today at Greenwich, at Europe's first digital IMAX cinema. So uh, I've got the privilege today of actually uh, going into the projector room and checking out what the hardware looks like. So if you'd like to step this way, we'll see what we can find. Right. This is Nick. Nick is the chief projectionist here at Greenwich. Nice to meet you, Nick. Hi, how are you doing? So tell me about these enormous things here that are making so much noise. In fact, why are they making so much noise? Uh, basically because the heat that's produced from the um, two 6,000 watt um, xenon bulbs that runs the image, um, they have dedicated extract units, so we need to have um, air conditioning put in deliberately just for this room. Oh my god. Um, right. Basically, it's to keep the whole system cool and stop the xenon from exploding. That's the <laughs> habit of doing if they overheat. Now these are, these are obviously uh, a bit larger than your standard projector you might get at home. Uh, do you know how big or how heavy these things are? Um, they weigh an awful lot. You won't be able to pick one up, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, we, to get them into projection room, we had to use a scissor lift and actually cut a hole in the wall because it wouldn't fit up the stairwell. Oh my God. And it took about seven of us just to get it on the scissor lift and wheel it in. <laughs> and, uh, what about the uh, the uh, the lenses on these things? Do you know how big they are? Are they standard IMAX lenses? Um, they're not. Each lens is calibrated to each cinema because obviously the size of the screen and then the size of the throws are calibrated to the millimetre okay. to make it really precise. So each lens is unique to that auditorium. Okay. Um, you may get you will get a generic type of lens, but then obviously each one will be calibrated separately. Okay. And the. Um, a normal, uh, normal projector at home, I mean, how much more powerful, how much better is the resolution of these? Um, it doesn't really compare. Okay. It's, yeah. um, the equivalent of um, half a uh, half 500. Um, oh, well, half K, I yeah, assume. Half K, yeah. So these are what? As opposed to two 2Ks giving you a 4K image. Right, okay. So we're looking together at something about, what, eight times more uh, resolution, in theory. Um, well, it would be equivalent of nearly 40 times better wow. picture quality than um, a good home projector. Okay, that's pretty impressive. And uh, what about the sound? Where does that come from? Sound, sound comes through the sound rack. Okay. We have uh, four dedicated amps, each with two separate channels, um, generating approximately uh, five kilowatts of heat. Okay. So that's all got its own built-in fast fan system as well, which. Um, doesn't do too much for the noise pollution in the room. <laughs> um, each set of speakers has its own channel. Um, the sub has uh, two dedicated channels because it runs off of four separate speakers. So just this for the sub. The sub has got one one unit to itself. Yeah, one whole unit just for itself. <laughs> and how do you control all of this? Where does this all uh, um, work this is from? All controlled from our main console, um, which is called the SMS. Right. Uh, the system management system. And how would you what? How would you load up a film from here? Um, basically, you'd have to plug in um, an external hard drive, um, then you can simply click on ingest. Obviously, there's nothing plugged in at the moment. And then that would give you the actual film on, the, on your hard drive, which mm -hmm. is stored actually underneath one of the other projectors. Uh, so then you would also need a digital key to unlock it, which is sent from directly from the distribution companies directly to sites. Right. Okay. And so you said uh, the film itself is on a hard a hard disk. Is that right? Yeah, certainly is. Can we see it's it? A hard drive. It comes something like this. It's quite small and compact. So this is is that that's the, what, just like a normal hard drive with a spinning disk inside? Yeah, pretty much. And it was a USB it's working yeah, on? Yeah, it plugs in via a USB sock. I see. And then obviously mains powered and it can go directly into the back of the projector. So these are, these are USB, this is USB run cinema? Partially, yes. <laughs> so uh, how big is the film itself, of uh, the average film? How many? Well, the average film is probably about 250 gigabytes. Okay. So uh, are you ever tempted at the end of the day to take the film home? Uh, it wouldn't work because you need a digital key to unlock it, which right, is okay. unique to not only that cinema but that projector. So that film wouldn't work in any other projector in the country. Okay. All right. I see. Well, look, thank you ever so much for the tour of the uh, nerve center here at the IMAX, Nick. Very good to meet you. Thank you. Enjoy.